came to prove not just what he was saying and I feel this group were together for a number of our years waiting in anticipation and I feel it finally came it finally came but something happened in the transition that he didn't go something re something negative yes I feel something happened that prevented his collection this cataclysmic thing in this area and you know I'm also because it takes me if you can check back with this there was great fire here great fire flames and I feel it would have been attributed to this what do you think Kieran the link with extraterrestrial it's a very very difficult thing to prove mm. I mean you you admit that yourself mm. and mm. you know just in terms of your natural ability mm. it's not an uncommon theory when you look at stone circles and mm. the whole earth mystery Mm -hmm. uh, area that there is a link between stone circles and extraterrestrials and some people say they were used as um, some sort of praying circle to pray to extraterrestrials or to mm -hmm. make communication um, so I don't find it unusual necessarily that Derek has found this link mm -hmm. what is fascinating is that Derek is getting this link yeah it's not mm -hmm. mediumship no you know it's it's I haven't come across this before no you haven't no Kath Sally are you are you two all right are you weird over here. Keep an eye on it. It's not weird, it's just like a there's a light. It's moving it. in a really odd way. Odd way, what do you mean? It's kind of going and watch. See that orange light there? Yeah. What light what colour what kind of light? It like it's raised up. Oh you can see it moving. Yeah. What? Yeah. Yeah. what? Yeah, look, moves. see look. What's straight ahead? Higher. It's the only light on the hillside over there. See it's going up. It's hovering. It's going up now. It's hovering. Yeah. Yeah. I can't see it. Yeah, honestly, come on. And down. Can you see it? No. no. I can't. I, don't. Can I know. You see uh, it? Yeah. I know what he's pointing at. Can you see it, Kieran? Can you see it? Yeah, I, see it. I mean, it's been there for quite a long time, Kieran, and it's moved up. No, like. Oh, what's that over there? What? That one. Yeah. Over there. That's, 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 that's a plane. Yeah. Oh, it's a plane. Check. I just suddenly strapped up in it. Yeah, it's moving. Oh God! Away, what the see. hell is that? Moving. Look. Look at it. Yes. Uh, yes. I've got there. it now. Can you see that, Carl? John? Yeah, it's I'm gone. Sure. It's gone out now. It's gone out. It's Let me switch off the weird. light. weird. Yeah. It's okay, we thought that was a plane. It's not a car because it's going up in the air. Yeah, yeah. That was up in the air. No, no, yeah. it's done. It's, it's gone. It's not a firework, is it? No, it would have exploded. No. Well, let's make, that was weird. It's gone. Mm -hmm. Let's make our way back together yeah. in a group. <laughs> Come on then, everyone, let's go. So what was that? Was that paranormal activity? Was it extraterrestrial activity? Well, let's find out. Will you please, ladies and gentlemen, give him a round of applause to our member of the audience, Vince Draper. Hi there. Good to see you. Come and have a seat. Vince. Are you a believer or a sceptic? Believer. You are a yes. believer. Yes, okay. Believe. Um, tell us exactly what you saw there. Um, well, to start off with, I couldn't see anything. Apparently there were some lights over in the, dis over in the distance. Um, but the only, um, I mean, you didn't pick it up there fully. But that light you saw actually went right up into the sky, hovered for a few seconds, and then dropped right back again. So, uh, before that, I couldn't see any lights. So just explain those lights that you saw. Where were they, roughly? Um, there was over in the distance. Um, I mean, I walked up there during the day. And where the lights were, um, there's like a line of trees over in the distance there. Okay. So there's, there's nothing they, they could come from. Vince, just explain those lights, exactly what you saw. We'll watch it back now. Just okay. talk us through w what we're seeing here. Okay, let's have a look now at this. Here we go. Right, yeah. That's, that's one of the lights that we saw. It, you, I mean, it shoots up in the air there, you it didn't actually catch it on the camera. It hovered for a few seconds and then it dropped back down again. And do you think this was paranormal activity or could you explain it? I could explain it, no. You couldn't? No. Matthew Smith, what do you make of that? Well, me trying to explain it. Um, well, having not been there, it's difficult again to, to give a po possible explanation. In terms of what we saw on the footage, um, it did look as though, as we're seeing here, it looked as though it's moving in very unusual ways. 
Given that the camera, I guess, would be getting handheld, you can't rule out the possibility that there's camera movement there that could explain, at least in part, some of those unusual movements. Um, also, I noticed when we were looking through the footage before the unusual lights were being observed, there were other lights happening there as well that no one was commenting on. So I think it's always, you know, you've got to be careful not to overinterpret what's happening. The fact what that, would you that, say to Vince? Yeah, the fact that Vince is saying that at least on one occasion, you're fairly clear, you know, you saw the light move up in a very unusual way. That, that could be of interest, and if you've got lots of people kind of corroborate that, that, uh, that sighting, then that's of interest. Again, you know, the footage itself to me is no more striking than many, many other times people have, have seen stuff. But again, it's very curious. Again, it's curious that it's in a place where it's um, the Sanding Stones where lots of people witness these kinds of things. But it's not so easy just to come up with a, a ready explanation. So, curious, you know, and some okay, people might find it more impressive. On it. Well, I, I can't explain what it was, but I think it was possibly uh, something extraterrestrial, possibly. Okay. I don't know. Yeah? Yeah. Matthew? Uh, well, again, I don't believe in extraterrestrial. I don't think that, that many of those lights so, would like to explain it, but it's an unusual light. I guess, at the very least, it seems to be anomalous. I wouldn't draw too much from the footage there because the camera was handheld, so therefore any movements could at least in part be explained by those kinds of movements. Thank you, Matthew, for the moment. Right, come over here. Let's go and meet uh, David Wells. Thank you very much. Now, David, Hi. you are uh, a medium, and you're also... Tell us a little bit more about what you're doing tonight. Well, I'm doing um, psychometry, the experiment of psychometry that's looking at the bayonet. Um, and then I'm looking for ghosts down by the river. Park. So you're doing this psychometry mm -hmm. with the bayonet. That's right. And just to explain what you're trying to do, are you trying to feel something about it? It's a combination, David, really. You try to feel, sense, see, whatever you can use, really. Use, um, use how you feel physically. So you may feel, uh, you know, someone using the bayonet or how you use it. You may get images, you may get sounds, smells, just whatever comes to you. Okay. And, and how, trust me. How, how confident are you that you can actually hold that bayonet and then tell us something about the history? Because I'm, I'm a tad sceptic about that. <laughs> I'm fairly confident I can tell you something about the history. If I actually get my hands on it, if Julian lets it go for five minutes, I'm fairly confident I can actually get, okay. give you something. And, and as a medium, very quickly, we're right in the centre of Derby. Mm -hmm. We're at this confluence of mm -hmm. ley lines. Is there paranormal activity where we're sitting right now? Definitely, ley lines, the whole paranormal thing is about energy. You hear the word a lot. Energy is what it feeds off. Ley lines, all these people here, the solstice, people all over the world celebrating the solstice. Massive energy. Massive energy. Massive energy. But what will happen tonight? We'll find out in a few minutes after this break.